Hi, I'm Roy with Rugged Badger Racing and Team Parts Badger. Behind me is our 80 hours to Gingerman Champ car. We are really excited about the projects today because hopefully we're gonna get some quick wins. We only have 34 hours of the project remaining and we currently have no suspension, no A-arms, no bushings on the car. The motor's out of the car and we have significant issues with the oil pan. We have a lot going on, but today we're gonna focus on the hard top. While that's off, we're gonna check the fuel pump, make sure everything's good to go there. We're going to swap out the cool shirt system for a much lighter weight system and fix the mounting. We're also gonna check the differential, make sure the differential is good, we have no issues there, and swap out the fluid. So let's get started. All right. So with the hard top off, we, we took the fuel pump out because I wanted to take a look, just made sure that we have an appropriate replacement just in case they had an aftermarket pump. So they do have an aftermarket pump, uh, Aeromotive Stealth 11142. Now I did put a new sock on here, or a new used sock I should say from the Parts Badger car. I checked, I didn't have any brand new socks, unfortunately. But you can look at this one, um, it is ripped. So it's just not gonna siphon as well as you know one that's in better condition. So I got this reassembled. Uh, everything looks good. I replaced the screw that was stripped, uh, but this is ready to go back in the car and I'll make sure I have spares for the track. All right, time for cool shirt installation. So, the car came with this, which is a five gallon, 20 quart igloo, and just the cooler is really heavy. We have the uh, fast system, which I'm not sure how many quarts this is, but honestly, it doesn't look a whole lot different than this massive one right here. The actual internal capacity seems about the same. Maybe this one has more insulation. So choosing between these, I think I'd go with this one. I also have this little guy that I made, uh, which is seven and a half quarts. And this was set up for the Parts Badger Miata. I had this in the uh, mounted actually all the way in the rear lower side of the car, um, which we frankly, we didn't have a lot of space back there. So I needed something smaller. The problem with something too small is it only works for about the first half hour or so. After that, you really don't have same type of cooling performance. So I think, because we have a full trunk available, I think I'm gonna go with this cooler. I'm gonna go ahead and see what's there and, and try to get this thing installed while we're also working on the hard top over there, getting the new window. So finally making some progress. To show how I'm going to prep this strap I just bought, four dollars. But I'm going to prep this for the cool shirt and I'm going to take some weight off of it. So, for starters, so this is gone, I don't need it. Now, I go over to this and I have this metal hook. And what I want to do is get rid of these metal hooks because they're awful. So, now I take the strap and off of the side that I just cut that piece off of. A lot of extra weight you don't need. So, just loop it like this, and I take the other end, feed it through. Now I have this piece, which is really long. I'm just gonna trim it for now. Now I'm gonna feed this strap through. Here. Through this side. I just made this base a little bit bigger to fit my cool shirt. Make sure this is nice and straight still. I want to feed this through. So it's not perfectly through everything right now, but it's close enough. Just gonna tighten it down. So that's about what it's gonna be the tightest. And then I can loosen this enough that this falls off easily. 
until, see how far this strap goes. There we go. So probably somewhere, somewhere in that range. That's where I want it, okay. I'm gonna tie a knot around it. So now it won't go any further loose than this. And this can go up and over and you can pull through and then tight. See how quick that is? And then I'm gonna cut this. There you go. So real quick way to make a strap for the cool shirt. Uh, pretty straightforward. Took about five minutes and I have no unnecessary weight. So this is good to go. Um, now what I will actually do is I'll unknot this and I'll reroute it because I do want to put it through some of these other holes here. But this is uh, now all set to length and then this is going to be seamless in the pits. All right, so we made a lot of changes to the car. We cut out some weather stripping and door material. Uh, we're gonna swap out the tops. We swapped out the cool shirt, and then we have a mirror change. Let's see how much weight we save. So to start, uh, Brandon, why don't you get on the scale? 141.4, all right. Let's see how much this one weighed. 160.8. This is, this is a lightweight top. I thought that was OEM. So this should be about the same. Maybe this one's even a little heavier. 62.6. Did you, uh, do you grab the straps? Let's see what it is. So that's pretty much the difference because that's a pound and a half. So what were you, one, one, uh, 142 actually. You were 142? Okay, and that's coming in at 162. So this is 20 pounds. 21 pounds with the rear window. So um, I actually didn't know that until I just picked it up. That is actually a lightweight top. All right, let's uh, let's do some weather stripping. Let's see how much we got here. All right, 52.8, 41, uh, 145. So seven, 7.8 pounds. All of this that isn't needed. Are, we have the two wink mirrors. These are probably going to be the same. 143.8. 143.0, oh. so 0.8 pounds the difference between these two. I actually don't like the wink mirrors. I mean, it's cool they have it. I really like this instead because I can see out of the passenger window and the rear window, and then I put a little wink mirror so I can actually see out of the, the driver window. Or, I'm sorry, a little bubble mirror right here. All right, we got one more thing. Let's check the cool shirt. 59.2. Now, the other one's in the car, but this has a mount. So let's see, that's probably around 49.0. So that's 10 pounds. So we got 10 pounds in the cool shirt that we saved. We have about seven pounds in weather stripping. And then, what is that, 0.8 pounds? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are we looking at? I mean, nearly 20 pounds. The tops are a horse, uh, horse a piece. So saving 20 pounds, not bad. All right, we have the top on. We did forget to take off the uh, inner film on that rear window, so that's gonna be fun. But we'll go ahead and take that off. Got everything bolted up uh, nicely, had to chase some threads. Something I noticed is the defrost is disconnected right here. Now, there isn't a switch for the defrost that I saw. So either the defrost is always on and this was uh, disconnected by accident, or maybe they're using this as the switch. So I'm glad I found that because I, I, ideally I don't want to run wipers. And not running wipers, it's really helpful to have these defrost strips. Taking a look at the mirrors here, you can see what I did with this mirror. So with this one in particular, I'm able to see out of this window. And normally in the big mirror, this is my face. And I don't really care about my face. What I need to see is this little portion right here to see if there's a car in my blind spot. Now moving over uh, to this side, I can see what is in my passenger side rear corner. 
all the way through the window actually. So I can look all the way out that window and see if a car is there. And then I still have a full view of the back because this mirror over here, there's a little wink mirror. I don't know when I'm ever gonna use this. Maybe when backing out of the garage or something like that, you're not gonna look over there when you're racing. And then this guy right here, the way the window neck goes, you're able to kind of see everything out that side. So I really like this kind of mirror configuration with this concave mirror that allows you to see all the way around the car in the Miata. It's a really uh, cool configuration. On to the next project. All right, so I'm under the car. I'm ready to change diff fluid here. The diff feels nice and tight. There's not a lot of play. So I'm hoping that the fluid looks good too. I have a clean oil pan. I have a 23 and 24 millimeter socket. I got my big impact here um, to take these out. So let's drain fluid and see how it looks. All right, almost done draining here. Um, I have the diff plug prepped. I, I cleaned it off with some brake clean. Everything looked good, threads look good. I don't have any replacement crush washers, but this one seemed all right. I'm gonna have to get more of those on order. And then I put uh, right stuff all around this just to make sure if this starts to, or if it doesn't have torque or it starts to vibrate, that the bolt's not gonna come loose. Let me get that in here. Then I got my torque wrench set to 35 foot pounds. The bottom one, I believe, is the 24 millimeter. There we go. All right, let's take a look at this fluid. All right, taking a look at the fluid. Uh, looks really good. Uh, there's nothing metallic and sparkly. The magnet on the drain plug look good as well. Overall, I mean, it's clearly used oil, but uh, seems in really good condition. Uh, I also have my drill prepped uh, to fill it. I'm actually gonna drill a hole in the trunk so that I can route that uh, hose down and then just fill the diff fluid from the trunk. That's a little bit easier than using, I have a, uh, a pump mechanism. That's just too messy. So I'm just gonna drill that hole real quick, get this thing filled. All right, so that's all connected. I have my red line, 75W90. Funnel is routed right to the differential. All right, so we have all the fluid filled here. Let's wipe off the excess that's drained out. We'll also go back here. We'll, we'll do a nice cleaning of all this stuff once this is sealed up. Uh, I also have the plug prepped with right stuff. Make sure all the threads are cleaned. This one has a crush washer basically embedded on it. Like I said, I don't have any extras right now, but I can put that in place. And the same torque spec, just torque that to 35 pounds. This is 23 millimeter, I believe. There we go, awesome. All right, diff fluid, all changed.